It's time to talk about gold. Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by Yankee Stacking and today I'm going to talk about gold. And before I dive in, there are two things that I don't want to happen in this video. The first thing is I don't want to discourage anyone. You may not be ready to stack gold. You may not think you're ready to stack any gold and that's okay. It may be true that you need to stick with silver and silver is awesome. That's the second thing I don't want to do in this video. I don't want to disparage silver. I love it. I think it's a phenomenal precious metal to stack. I stack it and uh, Silver Baggins did a fantastic job right up there on explaining the three reasons why he stacks silver. And I agree with everything he said. It's a great video. Highly recommend you watch it. But today I want to share with you uh, four reasons why I stack gold and why I think many of you out there in our precious metal YouTube community should do the same. So the very first reason why is, strangely enough, the same thing that Silver Baggett said, and that is volatility. You know, gold is less volatile than silver. It will fall less than silver in a bear market. It will rise most often less than silver in a bull market. And so, you know, if you like silver for that reason, like I do, that's good. You can buy in low and watch that price fluctuate immensely. <laughs> but when it comes to a more stable uh, return on investment, I think gold is where it's at. It's more gradual. It, uh, it definitely um, moves up and down slower. So that's one of the things I think it has going for it. Low volatility. Uh, the second thing is its quality. It is a absolute, beautiful, precious metal. I mean, wow. Silver is too. Don't get me wrong. I love the Britannia, the American Silver Eagle, the Canadian Silver Maple Leaf. But gold has been for millennia regarded as one of the most beautiful natural occurring elements on our planet. In fact, there are 92 natural elements, and I believe there is only one that ultimately satisfies the qualities for, for, for money, and that is gold. Uh, it is beautiful, but it also doesn't corrode. It doesn't rust. It doesn't tarnish. You're not going to see milk spots on gold. And while that isn't necessarily a deal breaker for silver, um, I do like the fact that gold is very, very long lasting in its condition. That's one thing. The second thing is related to it and that it's, it's durable, but it's not too durable. That means that it lasts well, but it's still malleable. It still can be um, made into coins quite easily. Uh, in fact, 24 karat, like this uh, Canadian maple leaf, is very soft. It needs to be protected. But an American gold eagle, like this, has some copper in it, and that strengthens it and makes it hard. Um, it's still one full troy ounce of gold. It's just a little over one ounce in total. Um, so the qualities of gold, I think, uh, give it an edge uh, among precious metals. The third thing is its storage. Uh, you, if you followed Yankee stacking for a while, you know I like a dense stack. I have a safe. It's not massive. I put my precious metals in there, but... You know, if I converted the Yankee Cannon into silver, we're talking almost three monster boxes of silver. Now, I love monster boxes. I think they're awesome. But they're also heavy and big, and I really don't want 
a large precious metals stack. So by going with gold sometimes, you can reduce that overall size. The Yankee Cannon was my first foray into gold, and um, I decided to go all in on one ounce. Now, that is probably overkill, but I really wanted to be able to uh, st store my wealth in a very dense way. So I went with that, uh, 20 ounces, one ounce pieces. And uh, that is, it's remarkable how much you can actually store uh, in a very small space. So one ounce gold, silver, eagle, it's about seven of them. Uh, we'll, we'll roughly add up to a monster box of silver. Dense stack, like the storage benefit of gold. The final reason why I think gold is a great asset to stack is it's what the big boys stack. By big boys, I mean governments. Governments trust gold. They stockpile it. They don't stockpile silver uh, nearly as much, but gold is a big deal to central banks. And when there is another massive crisis in not just the United States, but globally, I believe gold is what's going to um, be in demand. It's going to be the most important thing in a uh, economic crisis, an SHTF situation. No, you're going to want food, water, shelter, warmth. I get that. But when it comes time to barter, when it comes time to reevaluate and reset, if you will, the economies, United States and others, gold, I believe, will be at the forefront. Now, you're not going to go out and buy food with a one ounce uh, gold eagle, but you could convert that gold eagle into a bunch of silver that you can then use to barter. And as it relates to gold's performance, there are two charts that I'd like to share with you as well. The first is that gold, and probably silver as well, has stood the test of time as it relates to fiat currencies. If you look at all the currencies on this chart, the mark, the yen, the right mark, the US dollar, the pound sterling, the Deutsche Mark, the Euro, regardless of what currency is at play, each one has depreciated dramatically over time as compared to gold. It's very important to see just what currencies are like when they lose their backing and are no longer real money, but fiat. Now, the other chart I wanna show you is gold's performance during the stock market crashes. Recent ones, relatively speaking, or at least recent for a guy like Yankee. Um, I don't really remember the 70s. I was just a kid. Uh, early 80s, I hadn't really started, but I do remember uh, the recession that occurred a little bit in uh, 1987. I definitely remember in 1990 and 98, I had been uh, in the markets quite a bit, rode them out, these, uh, these declines in the S&P 500, I should say. Um, and then the uh, 2002, I remember that drop quite dramatically. That was uh, uh, the dot-com bust. And then the Great Recession. And also just uh, not too many years ago, we had a uh, 19% drop in the S&P as well. And each time that has happened, gold, has really performed quite well. There's a couple times where it didn't, but most of the time when the markets are struggling, when there's uncertainty and turmoil, gold is a great harbor to protect your wealth. Okay, so there's my four reasons. And now you're probably going, okay, Yankee, enough on the gold. Are you actually telling me that I should save my money and when it comes time to buy a tube of American Silver Eagles, I should seriously consider buying, for the same amount of money, one quarter ounce of gold. Yeah, actually, that's what I'm telling you. 
I think that those of us in our community that can afford to stack up silver like this, and I've seen you guys out there pulling open the boxes from Provident and Atmex, from uh, eBay, and you rip out a bunch, three or four of those tubes. I think one of those tubes should be one of these for you. Now, do you need to do that? No. And in fact, I highly encourage you to do your own investigation of whether or not you think gold is for you. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to stack both silver and gold. Right now, I'm focusing more on silver, but occasionally I stick a quarter ounce. And I do think a quarter ounce is the sweet spot for gold. Some of you might say, well, you know, Yankee, <laughs> I, it's a lot to get to a quarter ounce. Okay, you're right. But remember this, if, if you wait and save up your money to get a quarter ounce instead of the same amount of fractional gold with one-tenth ounce gold pieces, you're going to save about $40 in premium, give or take. That's a lot. Well, that's my case for gold. I'm very interested in what you have to say in the comments. Please be open and honest. Do you think that Yankee is, is on to something here? Do you think that I'm missing something? Please let me know in the comments. And, well, I hope your day is a-okay.